Game Club. Oh, yes. Game Club. <laughs> Let's move it on over to Game Club, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're thinking about moving Game Club to the end of the show so that we can have more uh, interactions with people. Because it's kind of like it's like book cl- a book club, but yeah. it's only us two. Yeah, well, and yeah. So when we pe- but like, bring more people in, yeah, we'll we have can. more discussion. But they have to actually play the game. They yeah. do have to actually play I the game. I guess it's got to be a trial. Yeah. Try it out. Yeah. See how it works. Um, But we were playing Plague Tale. Yes. Requiem. Yes. And we wrapped it up. We did wrap it up. Finally. But what is Game Club? Oh, yeah, right. What is Game Club? It's like a book club. (laughs) It's like a book club. And each week we play a chapter, a segment, or a timed interval of the game. (laughs) And then we talk about it. Yeah. (laughs) I have to say it every time, right? Timed interval. It's it's now my favorite interval. I've been saying it for 116 episodes. Not quite that long. No, you guys haven't been doing Game Club as long as (laughs) we have. We've tried to do it at the start. Yeah. 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 (laughs) And yes, uh, Plague Tale Requiem. Uh-huh. Last two chapters, three, three chapters. chapters. Yeah. We went through it. We wrapped it up. Yeah, we didn't want to stretch it out. We didn't want. It to wasn't stretch that it out. long either, though. So. No, no. How was it? Considering your guys' sentiment last time, where you were feeling a little bored and a little disattached. I was just like, "It's finally done." <laughs> so the sentiment continued on. Basically, yeah. It was uh, like I found the ending to be great. Okay. Did not save the game though. Yeah. No, I <laughs> the ending was fine, but I've I was just like, really, for two games, we've been toting this kid around and it just ends for us we have to kill him like <sighs> yeah as soon as the count took him away i was like ah, i guess we're gonna have to kill him now yeah yeah, yeah it just was like uh really <laughs> and the whole time through this whole game i was like just fucking throw the kid in the ocean <laughs> save a lot of trouble for everybody so yeah the it basically gets down to hugo thinks we're dead yeah so he's like upset and he's got his rat powers really ratting it up yep the macula takes over yep and we have to go down and brain him. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's back it up to the okay. previous chapter first. Back that ass which up. Which is, uh, yeah. So, uh, ship's crashed. Uh-huh. Uh, a spaceship? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the spaceship. <laughs> Amicia and, what's his face? Arno. Arno yeah. are on the beach. Yeah. Arno's patching up Amicia. Lucas has already been in there and done some stuff, and Arno's like, they're already up the beach. They're already getting some horses, so let's go up there and catch up to them. Yeah. And they get up to where the ship is crashed, and all of a sudden, the Count's there. They're like, how in the hell did the Count even catch up to them in the first place? And then I look, and oh, oh, there's the city. They're just still here. They haven't left the island yet. Yeah. But even the ship crashed back onto the same? I don't know if it's back on the same, because it's like Marseille, Marceau? Yeah, I think we're back on the mainland here. Um, okay. How the hell did the count even catch up? Don't worry that about fast? it. Don't That's worry what about I want to know. Don't worry about but it. Yeah, but like, yeah, anyways. Amicia's like in pain, just arrow wound through her skirt side. Yeah. And Arno's just like, here, have some magic potion. It'll make it fine. And yeah. then she's just up and at him, just ready to roll. Yeah. And so we go into a fight because the count comes. Arno's like, let me take him. I'm going to take him. Yeah. I'm going to do it. And. It's it's a really easy fight. There's just, you know, you walk around, you hit them, you hit the other guards that come out with the thing, Arno and the counter fighting in the back. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as you kill like um, five, six guys, maybe, mm-hmm. uh, the count stabs Arno. Yeah. And Arno does the hero heroic thing where he pulls the sword into him. Yeah. Takes the count's helmet off and is like, Amicia, your turn. Yeah. And then just brained. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, finally. <laughs> Brain, I couldn't finally use, just brain the big bad guy. I couldn't use my crossbow grand. though. <laughs> it had to be braining him. I could crossbow him with, in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting reminiscence of Gladiator here. I never seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The very end scene where he slides on the sword to get yeah to get to uh, Joaquin <laughs> yeah the uh, yeah we brain him yeah he's slow mo brain him yeah I hated that fight <laughs> yeah. Well, it just was like they're just throwing people at you to kill. Like, at least it wasn't that long, like some of the other fights. Yeah, but it was just like, okay, I gotta get this, guy, break this guy's armor off, and then <laughs> go hit him again. And I'm just like, eh. how is the, uh, how is the uh, mechanics of the game fight? It's the same as usual. Yeah. Just yeah, nothing, nothing. It's, it's yeah. I it's have to same. hit the guy with the like dust and then I go behind him and break his armor off and then I can kill him. And then another guy throws a spear at me and I have to hit him in the head with a rock. And yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing new, nothing exciting. I mean, I, it was just like in the first one where I was like, if we just walk up to the bishop and just brain him, that would have been a, a satisfying ending to me. Yeah. But we had, we had the rat fight now. Still good. Whereas this one, they actually gave that to me. 
Yeah. Where you I don't mean, have to fight the cow. You just pray. Yeah, them. but like <laughs> it's Yeah, but like they just replace the rats with us fighting other soldiers. Yeah. So it was fine. We ended up braining the bishop so just three times. So. Should, I, <laughs> yeah. should I play this game? You should play the first game. One hundred percent. You should play the first game. I was. I was. This being, game. I was being silly based on your yeah. guys' reaction yeah. here. In the, the final. We're on the wrong chapters. side of history, though. We all. Everyone we totally else are. loved this game. Okay. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. More or less. And then the last chapter, or the second to last chapter, is us going down into like the cocoon. Yeah. Of uh. Rats. Of rats. Yeah. Where and they're throbbing. Hugo is. Waves of rats come out. We have to hide behind a wall to get, like the rats just go over the wall. They don't. Yeah, it's just like pulsating waves of rats. So like, you go and you hide behind a wall, and the rats just go all around, all around it. Yeah. And then we rock walk down to the bottom and hit them in the head with a rock. <laughs> Good set piece. Like the set pieces were great. Mm-hmm. You have a little hallucination where you ha- where you're talking to Hugo, trying to get through this area. Oh like, yeah, no, that was weird. Got to do things differently. We can't keep doing things the same. Everything has to be different. Yeah. So we have to walk away from the yeah. phoenixes. Like the, the, when you're on the island, uh, the phoenix statues point the direction and the way to go. Yeah, but here you have to walk away from the phoenixes where they're fight where they're pointing, so that you can actually progress in the story. Yeah, you have to basically do go against Amici's now natural like reaction to things, where it's like, oh, yeah. I'm getting attacked by these rat people. I got to kill them. No, you have to let, put the fire out and let them kill. Like kill you basically yeah. a tiny little puzzle solving sequence here to kind of get yeah, yeah. I barely i mean it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's, i wouldn't even call it a puzzle yeah. it's just yeah. they even just tell you the answer like we can't do <laughs> yeah. this what we always do me see it's like okay i guess <laughs> rather than setting the rats on fire i'll put the fire out oh i did it yeah, yeah. and then and then a slow sobbing walk up with to lucas kill hugo. up to kill hugo we should have killed lucas too <laughs> god lucas is the worst yeah <laughs> lucas that when you drag along yeah he's just this story. little dipshit alchemist kid that's with you yeah. yeah everyone else died why did he get to live i don't know anyways and so yeah you go up it's well, Hugo's i guess uh, in his big Sophia brain lives sphere too. thing yeah it looks really cool he's strapped very, to a tree dire. or something like that yeah hmm. i see just extremely slow motion brain him yeah and as soon as the rock hits him it just fades to black yeah credits yeah i was like oh but then that was okay the second the first the first post credit scene it's like we're fucking watching the end of the lord of the rings trilogy <laughs> <laughs> so amicia's at the mountain house cabin whatever where she's relaxing for the last year or six months i can't even remember what it says just you know being alone and sophia comes with the horses and like all right it's time to go she's like, okay let's go and they make their way through the forest back to the horses they're just chatting about, about what's going on. So that Amicia is saying like, oh, I can find the signs of the next host and carrier or carrier and protector <laughs> I and just, I can help them. I was like, as soon as she said that, I was like, what? It was like a thousand years in between yeah. you and your brother in the first ones. Yeah, yeah. A thousand years. How yeah. are you going to find them now? Yeah. So that's her plan is to wander the world and find the next one and help yeah. them out. It was a nice. I liked walking through the forests. Yeah. It looked nice. And we go to like Hugo's shrine and there's yep. all sorts of birds yeah flocking around it she pulls out the necklace grave ro- grave robs takes the <laughs> necklace <laughs> necklace is the uh the sigil of her house on yeah. it uh, i have a small little anecdote i want to talk about post credit scenes in a video game okay. for later okay just point it yeah footnote in um and then it goes to more credits and then it's yep. like the last scene of the game yeah. It's like in the future. Yeah. You, you hear, see a blanket and then you see a baby's arm. And you, and, hear, but you uh, hear like high e- heels walking. And you hear an ECG or and whatever. An ECG, yeah. Going off like beep beep. And then it goes, shows the baby's arm. And it's got all the macula marks on it. <laughs> and it's in like modern day. Yep. Thousand years in the future. Yeah. So in the next one, Amicia's going to have a gat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be popping caps. Uh, yeah. When it was over, I was like, okay, we're done. And then I was like, Oh, maybe I just go get the achievements. <laughs> oh, the new game plus achievements. So I was like, let me new game plus, and it's like I look at it, it's like new game plus is the ultra hard mode, and I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I never didn't mind. Ask, are you guys doing this on console or on PC? I did console. I you did, did PC. console. Okay, yeah. yeah, both on Game Pass. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. both on Game Pass. So, yeah, yeah we yeah. were really stoked for this one after the first game. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. The first game was way better, way better story, better just everything. This one, no. Yeah. No. So, uh, what's next? Well, I made a list of four games. Yeah, for for Planet Club. 
Yeah, so the, uh, so so this Pardon? so it wash your mouth out with something. So <laughs> we've been using this Trello program thing for like, you know, organizing what we're doing. Yeah. And we had a I was making a list of games for game club. And I was like, oh, I need a picture. And I was like, I'll put the podcast logo. And then I was like, no, no, I'm going to use AI to create a podcast Excellent. logo. Which, uh, which one did you use? The Dally. Dally. Yeah. yeah. And I just typed in a podcast logo that has the name Game Club in it. And I sent it out. And yeah. AI cannot do words yet have, for they, some they reason. They struggle with it. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, tutorials where you get it to design it. And then you and customize you, you it. customize yeah. the word. The, the, over top of the letters so i did i typed it in and it created like five different logos and one was like a logo of like these two deformed guys looking like they're <laughs> eating chicken in the middle of a circle and it says plamic club underneath <laughs> it it's almost got a picasso look yeah to the faces <laughs> so i just was like cracking up so i was like okay that's the thumbnail for game club that right is, there it is great it looks yeah. like it's russian yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. club yeah. lanny c9 tub <laughs> yeah it was very weird so yeah um, it looks like it looks like two dudes just enjoying a wine, but the wine has like fish in it. Yeah. <laughs> it was very weird. And I was like, well, perfect. I love this. Yeah. It, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, so I was going through this list here and I really think we should do the Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds. The eh? Outer Worlds. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the Outer Worlds? Yeah. Outer, outer worlds. worlds. We do as many side quest things that we want to in yes. that time, but we have, but, and the main thing is just come do one, one of the main storyline quests. So yeah, I was looking for games that have like set main missions that we can do. Yeah. So we can say like, do this, do that, do the other one. Bisected into like chapters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this one is like, it's basically fallout. In it's space. fallout new Vegas in space. Yeah. Cause it's done by obsidian. They did fallout new Vegas. And this is like their, game they made basically there's a sequel coming and i played the first little bit of this game when it came out to check it out because yep. it was on game pass yeah microsoft owns obsidian so of course it's on game pass and i enjoyed it and i was like okay well this one i know we can have main missions and do it whatever yeah. but what were the other f ones i put on the so list? the other ones were alien isolation again another one that has chapters that we could do yeah. horror game on game pass chinatown detective agency this is a point and click like adventure game there's only like four or five chapters in it they're not too long either um but it's like a classic sort of lucas arts point and click style game yeah yeah point and click like like king's quest or whatever. yeah okay yeah, yeah that's what I was and then yakuza zero yakuza zero i i mean yakuza is yakuza this one has missions where you can like you know main mission stories and then there's all sorts of side shit you can do if you'd yeah. like to do it so uh are you guys gonna ask chat or your followers to see if there's an interest that they want to jump in on this uh normally yes we would but we kind of have to say what we're going to do right now oh right yeah, yeah. So because otherwise no one will know what's going on yeah right so if, if outer worlds is fine by me yeah i, can I do think outer, outer worlds. worlds is actually uh probably be cool because then cool. you know we got the 18 main quests so that's yeah. 18 episodes yeah and then we can just get as lost in the sauce as we feel Yes, I think I'm going to join you guys on this. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, I've been enjoying listening to Game Club, mm -hmm. um, and I've been wanting to participate. Nice. So I think yeah, I'm going to time chime in, and um, I'm going to play along and oh. keep up with you guys as you are doing your yes. chapters. Yes, it's on Game Pass. I think it's for PC and console. I forgot to look to see if it was actually oh, on PC Game that's Pass. That's right, because I don't have. No, it has to be. It's they're console. owned by Obsidian. Of course, it's on yeah. both. Yeah. I've, unfortunately, I've only got. I'm, I've only I got think it is on PS4. Console. I think oh. it is on PS4. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's on PC and uh, yeah. X Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, okay. PC? Yeah, Perfect. yeah. There you go. So yeah, I'll play along. I'll join you guys. Um, I think nice. we should get other people listening to the podcast yes, involved. Yes, I would love to have yeah, other yeah. people yeah. play and along everyone too. Everyone can play along with us. Yeah. That's I, the whole I, big point. I, I highly encourage that they should play along. Yeah. and we can get some uh, interaction going on. That's the whole idea behind it. Yeah, yeah, we try and play games that have either been free on Epic or are currently on game uh, Game Pass, so that you know people don't have to buy a new game in order to play it yeah. if they already subscribed or if they've yeah. been keeping up with their epic then again, which they should be we low, did do low, low barrier to entry for yes yes we did do guardians of the galaxy 
yeah. we did do Guardians of the Galaxy first, which we had to buy, but yeah. But that one was we had to we had to do it. Yeah. It had to be done. Shame on you. Shame on you. It had to be done. If you want to play that game now, it's dirt cheap. Like you, less than twenty dollars. You, you chose a game that your your viewers had to yeah. buy. Shame on you. I mean I mean now you guys our get first kickbacks? One. Is that what it was? If I, only. I smell some I smell some dirt. If anything, if anything, I bought it and then like a week later it was off for like fifty percent off. So. <laughs> oh yeah. no. Yeah. I hate those timings. Yeah. That game did not sell well. So no. It was immediately on sale. Yeah. But it was really good. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Outer Worlds. I'm down with it. I looked. Death Stranding has main missions in it. But there's yeah. 60 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Death Stranding's wow. a long guy. But there's only like eight chapters. Yeah. But it's, it varies. Chapters vary in range from like 30 minutes to like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. We're trying to keep everything under like an hour to two hours per chapter. Yeah. Just to make it a little yeah. man more manageable. Yeah. So. And then you can just get lost in the sauce as much as you want with yeah. Outer Worlds. Cool. Nice. <laughs> so that way there's there can be more discussion on like, oh, I did this. I went over well, here. Well, especially this. in yeah. the Outer Worlds yeah. is because it is like a Fallout or Elder Scrolls game where it's like, well, I was a total doucher in this quest. <laughs> yeah, where yeah. I had no yeah. I had no speech skills, so I couldn't yeah. do that. Yes. Yeah. So, so now now Excellent. we can have a variety of experiences to talk about rather than just like, oh, I went over here and brained yeah. this guy. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing yeah, the yeah, only thing yeah, that was different yeah. in the last of or the Plague Tale was when I found the armor power up that you didn't find. Yeah, yeah. That was like the only difference between yeah. us basically. Yeah, we it played it the exact same cuz there was just the build that you would do that was the build you you should do. Oh, and I figured out, remember we were talking about how you level up your skills? Yeah. So, I was wrong about how it works. Oh? So, the way it works is the way I thought was like the more people you kill, the more you level up. But it's not actually. There's three different types of abilities in Plague Tale, like sneaking, aggressiveness, and whatever. Mm -hmm. And each one would level up based on how many en enemies you kill in a section. So if you wanted sneaky to level up, you could only kill two enemies in a section. Oh. Then your sneakiness would go go up. If you killed between three and four, this other stat would go up. But if you killed like five, six plus, then your aggressiveness would go up. Yeah. Ah, so that's how it would work. Gotcha. But they don't tell you that in the game. No. Of course not. You just have to figure that out on your own. <laughs> you have to buy the, the the book, the strategy. Game. And then I <laughs> yeah. wonder if they even made one for this. Was, uh, who who was the big uh, versus books? Pub Brady games. Brady games. Yeah. yeah. Brady, head up to chapters and get yeah. a Brady's copy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if anything, they probably only had an art book for this game. I wouldn't imagine there was Brady a strategy guide. I think Brady games went under about yeah. six or seven years ago. Prima. Yeah, Prima. Prima strategy guide. Yeah. Yep. So. All right, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds it is. Sounds Ladies and gentlemen, good. make sure you install and play along with us. I'm going to replay by next week the first segment. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, this is actually a game that I've wanted to play, so mm -hmm. that's good. All right. That's good. Perfect. Let's do it. Yes. All night long. It's time. <laughs>